Hey everybody, I'm here today to show you how to use a ratchet and socket. This will be a simple tool tutorial, so let's get right into the video. As you can see, this is an example of a ratchet and a socket that's attached to it. This is also an example of a ratchet right here. Now you'll notice that these are actually two different, sorry about that, something's just rolling off the table. These are actually two different sizes. The smaller one that you see over here is actually a one quarter inch ratchet as denoted by the small uh, head over here. This bigger one is actually a three eighths inch ratchet, okay? Now they're really easy to use, really convenient. Essentially, you wanna take your ratchet and you wanna take this, which is actually called the socket. Now one side of the socket is a little square that connects to the head of the ratchet. On the other side of the socket is actually the head of the socket that basically uh, determines the size in which it will be operating on. So take the socket, take the square side, put it inside of the square head, it'll clip in place. Now what you have is you have your ratchet and your socket ready to go. Now you'll notice there's a lever here. Now the cool thing about a ratchet is that it ratchets you hear that sound right there so it allows you to pull in one direction and then ratchet it back so instead of having to constantly remove it it allows you to just do that now if you want to change the direction because right now it will be tightening it's rotating clockwise ratcheting counterclockwise rotating clockwise ratcheting counterclockwise so it would be tightening all that you got to do is take this and Turn it like that. And now, as you can see, rotating counterclockwise, ratcheting clockwise. So now it would actually be loosening, okay? In addition, and I'll show you, I'll demonstrate myself using it in just a moment. There are various extensions that you can have. So right here we have a ratchet, we have an extension. You could pop that extension in there. It gives you a little bit of extra length. And then I can take the longer, uh, sorry, the uh, bigger one, the 3 8 style, and I can just push it right in there. As you can see, I now have an, a ratchet with an extension and a socket. Just allows me to get a little bit further. You can get really big extensions as well. So in order to use a ratchet, you know, let's say I wanted to loosen it, right? So right now I would be loosening it. I'm in the loosening mode. You take the ratchet with the socket. You want to put it around the bolt. So right here we have a bolt on the base of the seat of the bike. I take the ratchet. I just put it around there. And as you can see, now I can loosen it. Check that out. Look, check that out. Done. Now if I want to tighten it, I just turn that. Okay. Let's get the seat back up to roughly where it was. And now I can simply tighten it. Okay. So check this out. So as you can see, it allows me to tighten something or loosen something without actually having to remove it. Like instead of like a wrench, okay, I actually have a wrench over that. I, I'm going to go grab it. It's right over here. Okay, so instead of a wrench, oh, I can't pull this out. It's super tight. Come on. There we go. With a wrench like this, you know, I'm going to have to go on there, turn. Oh, wow, it's the right size. What a coincidence. Go on there, turn it, remove it. Readjust, turn it, remove it, readjust. With a ratchet and a socket, you don't have to do that. It just allows you to do something like this, which is really quick and easy, which is great if you're working in tight spaces because you could just go like this. All you need is that much space to make, the, to make it loosen or tighten. And that's basically it. That is how to use a ratchet and socket. This has been a simple tool tutorial. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think down below as a comment. And of course, be sure to subscribe for more great car and drive. Well, actually, this is not a car and driving video. That's just my standard ending. Please be sure to subscribe for more great videos just like this one right over here. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.